So this video is kind of inspired by this uh, this Navy SEAL guy here. He wrote a book called Extreme Ownership. Uh, I'm not gonna discuss it, but the overarching principle is pretty beneficial. So what does it tell us? No excuses, man. You're responsible. I know it feels good and it's easy to say that you're feeling shitty because of the COVID pandemic. But what if I tell you that you're just feeling shitty because you feel shitty? Because that is your inner state. All this pandemic did was get rid of the distractions that kept you from feeling shitty. Like it just took away the soft blanket of constantly socializing, going to parties, doing drugs, drinking, going to the tennis club or your study group or whatever. Just because you cannot do all these things that you really liked, like you did before, doesn't mean you have an excuse to feel shitty now. So this gets us to the point I uh, wanted to make. We'll get a little more positive now. If you look at your life situation, wouldn't it be a lot easier if you just took responsibility for all the things that had an impact on you? Wouldn't it be easier instead of waiting for lockdown to be over so you can hang out with your friends again to feel better? You would just make yourself feel better now. Now, I don't mean like sparking up a joint and pretending nothing's wrong. No, I see you motherfuckers. No, no, no. I mean like actually taking responsibility for your emotional state. Saying, no, fuck waiting. Fuck being dependent on uncontrollable factors. All right, so I, I hope that kind of makes sense. I hope I convinced you. So if you look at things that aren't going as well as they could, problems pretty much, how about you just grab life by the fucking ball? How about you just take control? Even if you're not responsible or it's the others who made me feel this way. So like they should fix it and not me, right? Like the fact that someone else is responsible doesn't mean that you can be proactive. Doesn't mean that you shouldn't take control and make the best out of it. Like you can still win if you want. You always have a choice. It might not just be in the same way that you expected it to be. It might be the complete opposite even, right? You might have to adapt a little bit. I don't know, it might cost a lot of effort and it might take you a lot of time to better your situation, but you have to know that the option is there. There's always something you can do. So technically, you're a decision away from your ideal state. So let me give you a, a quick example of uh, how this would work make it less vague, because you know I, I can ramble a little too long and make stuff unnecessarily complicated, like this sentence I am doing right now. So let's say you're in a relationship and you're jealous. You're jealous because your partner keeps hanging out with people from the opposite sex. Now does that mean you should attribute this jealousy, this insecurity, this haunting feeling inside to them? Does that sound like a good idea? No, of course not. That would be super childish, right? Even though at first glance, that might be the feeling you have. You might be inclined to attribute all that to them. But no, in that scenario, you look at yourself. Why does my partner hanging out with the opposite sex make me feel insecure? Why do I actually feel this way? You know, what am I scared of? You shouldn't blame all this jealousy on the other person. No, you see the situation for what it is. You grow a pair and you take responsibility for your own feelings. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, have a good fucking day.